Right. I couldn't see any decent reviews on the Cometa 220, which we've got here in front of us. I'm sorry, I've got a bit of, bit of dust on it. I've not had it out for a little while, and uh, there's another gun just got off on the wall. That could be why. In any case, friggin' thing. Anyway, in any case, this one looks a bit rough as it is quite old now. It's an old bird. Um, it is fully modified version. It does have the modern spring, the updated spring. Sleep. It's got a, a three to nine times fifty e, which means illuminated scope. Uh, it is very beautiful looking. Um, I've got the chromed cylinder, and the barrel has been wrapped to give it full protection. Uh, and obviously on ergonomics it does look really well it looks nice also to fit me I've fitted it with a custom cheek piece for my eye relief and for my head positioning so I'm going back to the same place every time and I'm comfortable eliminating what's called pallorax which basically is the distance between your eye the reticle the lens and the target and if you're moving slightly out your pellets are going to be slightly out every time, I can guarantee. Once you get the hang of this, your shooting will be a lot better. In any case, uh, feet for second wise, they shoot at around 550, which is on average 9 to 10 foot pounds, dependent on the pellet that you use. So it, is, it isn't full powered, but however, they are quite accurate from new. This one, it's 10 years old now. Uh, I've owned it for five of them. So she's start to go. I would say it is a, a fantastic, fantastic value for money and bargain gun to get into the sport for an adult. It isn't a junior gun. Um, I would recommend it. I've had a bunny with it. I've had a few bunnies, a few pigeons. So it is capable, but just not with the ranges of more expensive and higher quality rifles. The build quality however, it is quite good. It's not bad, the price. Safety is at the back. You can see it there. That's safe. Sorry, that's fire. And that's safe. Actually, when you pull back, The safety automatically engages, so you can't just blow your fingers off by accident if you're being a twat with it. It is your own fault. So it does mean not being bear trapped, you can actually uncock the rifle. Which is quite handy if you're out and about in the field and you say, actually I don't want to take that shot. I'm going to wait another 15 minutes. So you need to uncock it, rather than letting the spring be tight. And yeah, bollocks up spring. Um, accuracy wise, inch groupings at about 35 40 yards, so it's not not great. Um, in truth, I wouldn't recommend the 2 2 version to anyone. In fact, the sad matter is because it's just inaccurate, and with it being slightly down on power. It hasn't got the range either. So I would recommend to anyone anyway get a 177 anyway, in my opinion. But especially if you're thinking about the Cometa, especially the 220, I would fully recommend that you get the 177 version as you, you won't regret it if it's the rifle you're after. Um, I find that uh, RWS uh, Super Domes uh, fantastic in the rifle. I couldn't get on with the Diablo Field air arms. I couldn't get on with them at all. But RWS Hobbies, they are good consistent pellets. They weigh, well, I think they're 14 grain if I remember rightly. So they are, they are middleweight pellet. Do fly really well. They are very consistent. They are your traditional lead pellet. Uh, they are highly, they are manufactured really well. 
not like other pellets, I'm not going to say who, but there's a few companies that use the same manufacturer and charge different prices and claim different things about them, and they're all made in the same factory in exactly the same way. But uh, I could get to done for slander, start saying names, so I shall leave that. But anyway, that's for you to make your own decision on what it wants. Yeah, so that's it for the Cometa 220. If there's anything you need to know about it, servicing wise, parts, where to get parts, how much they're going to cost, uh, and other servicing issues, if you do it yourself, uh, just let me know. Also, I've got pointers on how to make the wood, the original stock, look nicer. As I've uh, rebuilt mine, and I do think it looks a lot nicer than standard. Anyway. Um, the iron sights have been taken off. I did didn't like them on mine. I quite like the the classical rifle look, so I took the iron sights off and obviously fitted with a scope. I'm not going to use them anyway. But what they did look like another rifle here with the same ones. Basically, they are classed as fibre optic true glow. So what you get is in fact strange looking things it red and you can see them um, just there green you lay them straight down like that and the both up obviously you know I shouldn't need to go into detail about iron sights so that's what you get for your money they are retailing at about 124 pounds the commatters um, they are a good budget gun and they are a very good introduction into uh, air rifles in the shooting world such. So that's all I've got to say on that. Thanks for watching. Cheers.